Casper, the digital silver is quickly gaining more and more popularity. Currently at least 13,000 addresses own 100,000 Casper or more. This is truly one of the best altcoin investors that exist out there today. Since July 2022, Casper has been on an absolute tear against the whole crypto market and it is not slowing down anytime soon. Casper can now be bridged to Ethereum with the launch of Wrapped Casper on Finance Changes Dex mobile app. This is absolutely huge news. This means direct asset transfer from Cas to ETH and access to Ethereum's vast DeFi ecosystem. Furthermore, Poolin has now integrated a new mining pool for Casper as well. Rhubarb Media, who specializes in naming, branding, and creative marketing in the blockchain space since 2016, is now accessing Casper as payment. And Casper listings are continuing at full speed, Swapika and Simple Swap being the two newest added to the list. It is only a matter of time until Casper's mass adoption truly takes off, and the massive exchanges, the Coinbase's, the Binance's acknowledge Casper for what it is the next Bitcoin. Once this happens, Casper will skyrocket in value and I believe this is inevitable. But why? Why Casper? Well, essentially as Jonathan Sompolinsky says, to make Satoshi great again. To redo Satoshi's um, proof of work paradigm. Casper aims to implement a vision which once upon a time was Bitcoin's vision to be a long-term contender for the open financial system. This project is ahead of its time, breaking records. Just check out what the people behind the Ghost, Spectre, Phantom Protocols are up to at Casper. There's a great line of work from Avi Zohar and Yonatan Samopinsky on directed acyclic graphs, where they started with proof of work uh, in something called Ghost, all the way down to Spectre, down to Phantom. So there's like a series of papers that they wrote. And the basic concept was that in proof of work, if you shrink the block interval, you get faster block times, but you increase the probability of orphan blocks. So ordinary Bitcoin rule is, well, if you have an orphan block, you have a race condition, whichever one you build on top of, that's the chain you go with, you throw away the orphan blocks. So you lose all that work. With Ghost and Spectre and Phantom, you just throw it on to the chain. You include all of them as long as there's not a double spend. And if there is, there's a way of mitigating that within the protocol. If you follow the protocol and everybody's honest, it's very fast. You get a huge speed. In continuation, here's a clip of Cardano's founder, Charles Hopkinson, talking about implementing the Spectre protocol. I haven't heard a lot about this, but you're implementing the um, the, the Spectre protocol. Yeah, well, that's right. the protocol we, we might implement. It depends upon, at the end of the day, the research development, the the Zen Cash team's opinion, the community's opinion. But that's the probably the best of the of the group that we've seen to start with in a really rigorous increase. Right. I mean, it, it's extremely fascinating. I would say this is the most fascinating protocol out it there. Slows things down. It doesn't damage throughput or security. And then here on the right side, it's a clip of Ethereum's founder Vitalik Buterin talking about implementing the Ghost protocol on their own chain. So it's an adaptation of the Ghost uh, protocol uh, created by uh, Yonatan Sambolinsky and Aviv Zohar back in 2013 to a proof of stake context. So both these massive crypto projects, both Cardano and Ethereum, are implementing Casper's old work. Casper is already moving on developing bigger and better things like the Ghost Dag, currently at 1 blocks per second but soon to be 30. This is 19,600 times faster than Bitcoin. Then you have the Dagnite upgrade which makes Casper the first ever parameterless protocol. Casper is a breakthrough in distributed ledger technology. A true proof of work with no pre-sales or pre-mines that can scale down confirmation time. It isn't limited by network latency and it is the next evolution of blockchain. Its speed can compete to that of Visa and will offer the same security as Bitcoin. Speaking of which, as of right now, Casper is one of the hardest POW chains to attack already. It's still so early in its development. And this can also be seen by the increase in Casper's hash rate. Generally, an increase in hash rate indicates that the ecosystem has been growing while enhancing the chain security, as well as often decentralizing a chain due to more network participants. And as more community developers are getting involved in the project, joining Casper's Rust rewrite efforts, this project will continue to become more scalable, more secure, and more decentralized. Naturally, increasing in popularity and also in value. Now check out these videos for more amazing investment opportunities, but remember, it's just a coin. And I'll see you in the next video.